The STEPS Engineering Your Future program, STEPS EYF, is designed to inspire transition year students to study engineering. STEPS EYF is an engineering experience program that gives transition year students a hands-on, fun and practical insight into engineering at third level and as a career. STEPS EYF is coordinated by the Engineers Ireland STEPS program and is hosted by third level institutes and industry around Ireland. This annual Engineers Ireland Transition Year initiative has grown from five programmes in 2013 to 18 programmes in 2020, and to date has engaged more than 1,700 students. A total of 18 programmes were planned for the period of March to May 2020. Unfortunately, due to the COVID-19 crisis, only five of these took place in early March. In total, over 1,100 students applied to participate in STEPS EYF for 2020, and as a way of keeping in contact with these students, the STEPS team would like to offer a taste of STEPS, engineering your future at home. It's impossible to recreate the hands-on experience of STEPS EYF completely. However, we have three video presentations and three challenges aimed at transition year students who are interested in a career in engineering. My name is Mark Langtree, and I'll be your host. And I'm delivering these videos and challenges on behalf of the STEPS team at Engineers Ireland. The videos and challenges have been developed with transition year students in mind. However, please share them and encourage any of your family or friends who are interested in engineering to join in. Today's challenge will explore the engineering discipline of electrical engineering. And it gets a little crazy, so listen up. Electrical engineering is concerned with the study, design and application of equipment, devices and systems which use electricity, electronics and electromagnetism. It can be divided into a wide range of fields and many overlap with other engineering fields too. Electrical and electronic engineers have revolutionized the world we live in, transforming the 21st century with technologies such as universal electric power systems, TVs, radios, smartphones, medical imaging, and lead the way in designing technologies that shape our world. Electronic engineers have developed the advanced digital technologies we use for communication, entertainment, the internet, smartphones, and many other things. Electrical engineers develop the systems to distribute electric power across the world and are developing new ways to solve the world's energy problems by harnessing renewable energy sources like wind and solar. Electrical and electronic engineers are involved in projects that make a difference such as Ireland's largest ever wind farm in Galway or solar farms under development across the country, helping us towards achieving our renewable energy goals. Projects that can change the world. My favourite electrical engineer, and a man who certainly did change the world, is Nikola Tesla. Nikola Tesla was a Serbian inventor, visionary and electrical engineer born in 1856. He contributed to the electrical revolution that transformed daily life, and his inventions still play an important role in the world today. He designed the alternating current electric system, which is the main electrical system still used across the world today. The reason we have electricity in our homes, houses, and businesses is thanks to Nikola Tesla's system. His inventions contributed to development of radio, remote control, and what is considered one of the greatest inventions of all time, the AC induction motor. He also created and invented this, the Tesla coil, used for the wireless transmission of electrical energy, among other things, which we are going to use a little bit later to turn electricity into rock and or roll. But let's take a closer look at the Tesla coil. This is a Tesla coil that I've built at home, as you do. And yes, I did change t-shirt. The Tesla coil was invented in 1891 and it's used to generate extremely high voltage, high frequency electricity with the purpose to wirelessly transmit electrical energy. Tesla coils create huge electric fields which push electrons through the air. Electricity usually flows through wires, not through the air, but Tesla envisioned building a global network of wireless power stations to transmit electricity to everyone on earth. To understand how Tesla coils work, Let's go back to the fundamentals. There are two types of electricity, static electricity and current electricity. And static electricity, like it sounds, the electric charges are static. They're not moving. And it results from an imbalance between positive and negative charges, typically by friction. 
You all know static electricity when you get those electric shocks when you go to touch a metal doorknob. You can also transfer an electric charge to your head using a balloon when you just... <gasps> what kind of gel have I got on my hair? That was the only balloon I had too. You might recognize this machine. This is a Van der Graaff generator and it builds up static electricity. There are two materials inside that rub against each other and that transfers the electrons to the dome on the top. They've got nowhere to go, they're static and they build up unless you give them somewhere to flow to. And when electrons flow, it's called current electricity. You'll know some of the cool effects of static electricity. Like this, or like this. Should have done that at the end. Now I have to pick them all up. When electrons flow, that's called current electricity. Tesla coils produce current electricity. They generate huge voltages, and a voltage is the electrical force that drives the current. The more voltage you have, the more current that can flow. A Tesla coil is a resonant transformer, and transformers step up or step down voltages. They can either step them up to huge crazy levels or they can step them down to safe levels that you can use in your home. To achieve such high voltages, a Tesla coil uses electromagnetic induction and resonance. Let's take a look at the parts of a Tesla coil to understand how it works. So you have the primary coil, which is etched into the black plastic here. It's about five turns of copper wire. Then you have the secondary coil, which has about 1800 turns of copper wire. And then at the top you have what's called the toroid and it allows the charge to build up before it shoots off. And then on the bottom you have all the different components of transistors and capacitors that allow the system to work. When the Tesla coil is turned on, electricity flows through the circuits and fills a capacitor with electrical energy. When the energy gets great enough, it shoots into the primary coil and the current flowing through a wire has a magnetic field associated with it. That magnetic field interacts with the secondary coil, inducing a voltage in it. That is electromagnetic induction. The voltage across the secondary coil depends on the ratio of number of turns in the primary to the secondary. We have about six turns in the primary coil and about 1800 turns in the secondary coil. That'll multiply the voltage by a, a multiple of 300. But to achieve those super high voltages, that's where resonance comes in. The circuit is driven at a particular frequency and that drives the voltages up to super high levels. Let's check this out in action. And that's a Tesla coil. The voltage becomes so great that it builds up on top of the toroid and the electric field sends those electrons shooting off into the air, creating those beautiful plasma arcs of lightning. You may have noticed that the pitch of the sound changed. And that's because I was controlling it with this controller device here. This sends signals via an optic fiber cable to control the Tesla coil and turns it on and off. It sends a series of pulses, which tells the Tesla coil how many arcs of lightning to shoot out. Now, sound is a pressure wave, and usually speakers create this by a vibrating membrane, but Tesla coils use the expansion and contraction of air due to extreme heating to form a pressure wave in the air that travels to your ears, which you hear as sound. I'm controlling the frequency of those waves with this device. Arcs shoot off at the frequency of the musical note you want to hear. Now, the Tesla coil uses alternating current, which differs from direct current, which travels in one direction. Alternating current changes direction many times a second in what's called its frequency, measured in hertz. Now, this is pretty awesome, but 
This generates about a quarter of a million volts. And I think it's about time we checked out the big one to get up over half a million volts. Let's do it. This Tesla coil can ramp up voltages to over half a million volts. And I can control the frequencies of the arcs using a MIDI keyboard. Now the arcs are so hot that they heat the air up to about 5,000 degrees Celsius, creating a plasma that causes the air to expand very quickly, sending that pressure wave all the way to your ears, which you hear as sound. So if I can control the frequencies, I can control the sounds that you hear. And that's what I'm about to do. It's time for my big performance. I'm about to turn thunder and lightning into rock and roll music using Nikola Tesla's Tesla coil. It's also very loud, that's why I got these. The Tesla coil. It's outrageous, wireless, preposterous. But it did have a very practical application in wireless radio technology. Tesla's dream was to build a network of wireless power stations that would send electrical signals through the air. The world wireless system, he called it, which would transmit both information and electrical power to everyone on Earth. So now it's time for your challenge. We're challenging you to create a new communication system in your home capable of sending a message over a minimum distance of, you guessed it, two meters. It can be low tech, high tech, it can be electrical or mechanical. Use whatever you have available at home and get inventive. Use your creativity and imagination and your engineering mind to create your unique system. You could use cups and a string, Morse code, light signals, but definitely use your imagination. Do what you can, where you are, with what you have. And to win, send us the details of your creative solution to the challenge. It could be a video, a photo, a drawing, or written text, and send it to the email steps at engineersireland.ie. The challenge deadline is Friday the 15th of May. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and keep an eye out for more steps engineering your future at home challenges. Until next time, stay classy, stay at home.